Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. I'm Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministry. This is our Music Minute, taking a look at the hymns we'll be using in worship tomorrow, the 16th Sunday after Pentecost, this long green season. And we're going to go in mixed order today. So we're going to start with the communion hymn, When We Are Living, or our Pues Si Vivimos in Spanish. Uh, this tune is assumed to be a traditional Spanish melody, and it's actually, its text is a compilation from several authors. Um, Gertrude Suppe uh, saw a woman standing to the side after a meeting at the La Trinidad United Methodist Church in L LA, Los Angeles. And Suppe asked the woman if she remembered uh, songs. This woman was from Mexico, so she asked if she remembered any songs from Mexico. And the woman did, and she and her sister sang a number of them. And this song, Pues Si Vivimos, was one of them. And so Supe took it to a committee that was working on Celebramos II, uh, which is a, a hymnal compilation for Spanish uh, congregations. And they added some stanzas, and here's what we have. So, pues si vivimos, when we were living. And next we'll move to our hymn of the day, and that is Lord of All Nations, Grant Me Grace. And this is a Slovak tune, and it's based on Psalm 1 originally, which is where it got its tune name, Be uh, Beatus Vir, and that is the Latin of Psalm 1. The woman who wrote this uh, did so in 1960, and she lived in the suburb of uh, Chicago that was experiencing some great racial tension at the time. And the Lutheran Human Relations Association had uh, used this hymn and they sang it at their 11th annual institute at Valparaiso University in 1960. Uh, it, it made its way to LBW, the green hymnal, if you will, in 1978 uh, with some inclusivity language edited in. This will be Lord of All Nations, Grant Me Grace, and I'm going to go over to the piano for this one.
Great, so now we'll move to uh, the gathering hymn. So, praise my soul, the God of heaven. This was another that was a psalm paraphrase. It was originally called Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, which is actually on the facing page in the hymnal as you look at it. And that has been updated in language. And so the tune comes from 1868, so much older than some of the others we've been looking at tonight. And it's often praised as the finest Victorian hymn of all. So the tune generates a lot of interest. At first glance, it appears to be parallel or the same in all of its phrases, but then we find that those phrases are not actually the same. They're just ever so slightly different. So praise my God, the, praise my soul, the God of heaven. You might recognize that whether or not you think it's the the finest Victorian hymn or not. The last hymn, our sending hymn, Praise to the Lord the Almighty, uh, an all-time favorite, I think. Uh, this hymn is based on the first six verses of Psalm 103 and Psalm 150, and the tune is anonymous and appears to have been first published in 1665, so we keep backing up even further and further. Uh, a new version of the tune followed in 18, uh, 1680, uh, for which the tune is named, Lobe Den Heron, and uh, several versions of the tune are known, and there is some thought that it might be a secular tune that has generated all this. So praise to the Lord, the Almighty.
definitely a praiseworthy hymn to get you going. So we hope you've enjoyed that this evening and maybe you learned some things you didn't know before. If you are joining us for worship tomorrow, that will be in person here in the sanctuary at 8.30 and 11. We have reverted back to our fall times now and the 11 o'clock service will be recorded on our YouTube channel uh, via live stream. Thanks again for joining. We'll look forward to talking again next week.